Hello there everybody, this is Graham, also known as The Collector 75, and welcome back to another of my knockoff reviews. Um, this is actually a figure I've been meaning to do for about, I don't know, a month or so now, probably maybe even longer, but I wanted to do a size comparison with it, the original figure, and that was buried up in my loft, and I've just been, I've been searching every chance I got, but I couldn't find what I'd done with it, because... Uh, I had to, at the time, I had to, we were sorting out a uh, cupboard and I put it in a bag and I just put it up in the loft and then I couldn't find out where I'd put it up in the loft. But I finally found it today. So finally I thought, well, that's it, I'm going to do this now. This is, um, of course, this is uh, an oversized Age of Extinction strafe or swoop as he obviously is called in his Generation 1 incarnation. Um, I, I got this off Sir Toys and I'm pretty glad I did because as soon as I bought it, literally that was it, that's all they had and I've never seen no more of these. This is a great figure. Now, this is oh, a good Voyager sized figure now, where well, the original was obviously like a basic style but this is now huge. Um, I'll do a size comparison with the original figure when I get it into robot mode. It has been slightly simplified and I'll come to that when I come to the transformation. A lot of it is in these heads. I mean the heads still do have a lot of articulation now that they do open their mouths and everything but some of the articulation here um where i think the original is on a few little ball joints or different rotational uh, joints there these have just got two simple joints which does require a slight um what's the word i'm looking for um being a bit liberal with how they look uh in robot mode um but still it still has its classic sort of Petrodon or pterodactyl uh, mode. I mean, these wings are just massive wingspan. Um, you know, it's, it's huge. I mean, I, I love it. <laughs> anyway, right, let's get it into its robot form. It's not got the most hardest robot form. Like I say, it has been simplified uh, somewhat. Um, and we're going to rotate this around like so. So we're going to fold out this leg. Then rotate on this ball joint, that gives us the legs. Um, and we're almost there, believe it or not. We're gonna, oh, these guns do just drop off. I don't really like these guns too much. We're gonna disconnect the arms from these oversized bloody wings, bring these down, and then obviously these are the hands. That's right. just I just rotate. figured out what I've done wrong now. I think I was being too clever for my own good. Um, yeah, I'll show you what I've done. Um, you rotate these hands out, you can't hard to see them in this light, and these are just jet black. So you rotate them out, and then you rotate these around. Whereas on the original, I think they got slightly different. That's what was confusing me. Anyway, right, so you do this, you bring these out, and then you rotate these wings sort of as back as you want, and then with these heads. Now, this is where it's going to get a little, uh, not confusing, but you've just got to be just a little, what's the word? Let's see if I can get this without it. Falling over. My, my tripod still hasn't come, which I'm a bit pissed off about. But there we go. Right, so you're going to bring these round, and then you're going to literally bring it round to here. And I did figure out a way. How did I do it? There we go. You can rotate these on here somehow without breaking it. There we go. It sort of pops off, and then you just sort of force it back on. Right, so I can't remember how I did it now. Just going to pop them back on. I know it was at the side here. Get on there. There we go. And then that's it. We just sort of like bring them down. So you're going to rotate this around. I'm trying to make sure you can see this on camera. It sort of ends up popping off. Force it back on. Rotate that head around at an angle. And then there we have Strafe. Straighten his bloody wings out. In his robot mode. And he stands up pretty well once you get him to an angle. Uh, it's just because they don't come with any decent hill spurs really, even the originals didn't to be fair. Uh, he can hold these, he does come with his um, sort of like harpoon gun. And then this is the original, as you can see. You can see the size, comp size comparison here. Um, you can see he is, yeah like I say, he's a good Voyager sized figure. If I bring in um, the Voyager Grimlock figure, you can see now, actually I'll take this little fellow away now before Grimlock decides to fall over and ruin the party. Um, you can see now that Strafe is at least, well he's actually bigger than Grimlock. Um, you know, so if you had the leader Grimlock, which I don't have because I weren't overly impressed with that figure. I've still got the knockoff huge figure um, up in the loft. Um, should really review that really. Um, that would probably maybe size better with these now. 
to be honest. Um, but he's a great figure, and I think even so, he does he does go good with Grimlock there. Um, I do like it. Uh, he does have a great little head. It does rotate. I'm sure it does. Yeah, there we go. It's on a ball joint as well. I do love these Dino, Age of Extinction Dinobots. These were the, some of the best figures to come out of the last couple of movies, actually. Um, yeah. Yeah, they were, actually. I do like them. Uh, right, okay, that's it for this review. I'm going to be back soon with another re review of these um, knockoff Dinobots that I've got. Anyway, right, I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.